I'm waiting for the microphone to start recording because like it's not doing that. Oh, okay. Here we go. So I haven't showered yet. I'm gonna casually leave that in because relatable. So if you're new to the channel, first of all, hi, it's great. Second, if you're not new to this channel, then you know then that I just I ghosted. I, I'm from the ghosting area. I'm gonna make this easy for you because I I love you. If you wanna skip through this talkie talkie intro because it is gonna be a talkie talkie intro. Talkie talkie. Then I will put a timestamp right here. Wait, is that in the f Yeah, okay. Right here. This will be the time when the reaction begins. Go find that. I'll wait for you to go to that so you can start watching the reaction and I'll I'll be here. You still here? Stalker. Okay, so the reason that I've been gone are two things. Number one, I became very busy in the time that I was not here. If you guys don't know, I have a full-time job. Yeah. I have weekends off, but every time's the weekend I go out. And the other reason is because, simply put, editing is hard. I mean, editing by itself is already difficult. I love it though, I'm not complaining. But the thing is, is like, how it works for me, right, is like this. I have a very shitty laptop like real shitty and you can't handle editing programs so what I do I swear to god this is what I do and what I've been doing for the past few videos that I've managed to post is I go over to a friend's house the same friend who owns this camera uh, the person that I was talking about is this dude hey guys it's his birthday today wait for my youtube channel don't subscribe to him Woo! show them that you can fart the alphabets show them for whatever time is convenient for him we have to coordinate right so I go over to his house and I edit on his desktop and obviously, I can't stay there because the time that it takes me to edit is like, I can go eight hours, probably, of editing. Probably not. That was a lie. I'm sorry. So it came to a point in the time that I was gone that it, we didn't have time that matched up, so I couldn't edit. The only solution to this that I can see is to get a new laptop, and I'm working on it. I do have a laptop that I'm, that I'm eyeing, you know, very flirtatiously. I hope it texts back. Now you know. That's the reason why it takes me for fucking ever to get anything out on this channel. But here's something. Another. Hold on. Fuck me in the ass. No, don't do that. Here's an important thing that you should know. Yes, posting videos stresses me out sometimes. But it's a good kind of stress and I'm into it. I'm thoroughly enjoying doing this whole YouTube thing. And I plan on doing it more. And don't worry, season 3 reactions are gonna come out. Like I said, I just need to edit them. I have all of the footage ready because we filmed it in one night. Um, but right now I'm downloading episode 6 so that we can get to that. So I thought that uh, for now I'd read some, some of your guys' lovely comments since I've been away. Is everything okay with you, girl? Sending you good vibes. Thank you so much! Come back, this is your calling in life. You're hilarious and bright as fuck. Sincerely, drunk, sweet, and hooray for my first comment. I know! I know! I know! Dude, thank you! That means so much to me. You don't even know, man. Thank you. I have to say, I just saw three of your videos and I'm in love with you and your friends' reactions. I love how they fangirl so hard. Reminds me of my first time watching this season too. Great reaction to this. Thank you, Maria Ariaga. <laughs> Cultured. You talk too much. Hey, Viviana. You right? Hi. If you have traveled to this time stamp, stamp, fuck me. If you have traveled to this time stamp safely, welcome. Let's begin the reaction video. <laughs> This scene's beautiful. I love how they just casually dropped that in there. Very casually inserted the fact that, yeah, she had some trouble in her old school. She was bullied. She has encountered so many fucking awful people in her life. And they have done nothing but shit on her because, you know, of her religion and her faith. Which is something that they have no right to anyways. It's not like she goes around shoving her opinions into people's throats. I don't know. Look at her face. Look at her fucking face. You're gorgeous. Throw back to season one, Sana, okay? If Sana were to put out like a makeup tutorial, I would live for it. I need one of those. Does anyone in Etsy make that? My birthday's on October, by the way, if anyone's wondering. <laughs> It's not to my, it's not to my, it's not to my, nah.
Then... Nora looks extra gorgeous in this season, but I think here she looks like extra great. And I think maybe, I don't know if this was on purpose too, I think it also has to do with the fact that it's from Sana's perspective. So she's seeing Nora as like this person that's so pretty, so perfect. The guy that she likes likes Nora, her brother likes Nora, everyone likes Nora. And I kind of love that. I love this sort of, this style of writing where it's very loyal to the perspective of the character that you're seeing the show from. It's kind of like when you can't rely on their perspective too much, because it's very biased. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't know. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it's the greatest contrast, isn't it? Because the first time that we heard the line, you are not alone was as a saving grace for Evan. Are you accepted? Not exactly. But you can find a little twist to me. My purse. What the fuck is up with the carrots every time? Like, I don't know if there's like an actual symbol for it or if it's just like a random thing. Was there anything like that in season three? Cardamoma! Cardamoma! No, I don't know I wanted to be a surgeon before, but then I realized that wanting to be a surgeon for the sole reason that I like the idea of cutting someone open is probably not a good reason. <laughs> when I first watched this, you know, freshly after we just witnessed him stick his tongue so far down Nora's throat that he ate her lunch. I was like, oh you fucking look at her! The thing about scum too that I really like is that there's a lot of subtlety to it. So scenes like this where you know, we know that the carrot means something and we know that seeing Nora eat the carrot means something as well. Like you draw your own conclusions with Sana. Yeah, you know, during that time that I was straight. Remember that? Does anyone remember that? No one fucking remembers that. I see that. It was not very sexual for all, for this one. War flashbacks to Emma in the bathroom. That's all. <laughs> First of all, who the fuck, who the fuck wears white shirts at home like this and, and khakis? And, what? Like, I get it. I get that it's inspired by fan art, but still. Look at these little gems on the wall. What a fan service you show. I am so in love with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Not the only thing, you guys bum. Cheeky bum sex. Cheeky bum sex. Can you just okay? I'm sorry for doing this, but picture this Evak moment. Being all flirty, they're holding hands. They're in their white shirts. <laughs> they're in their white shirts and khakis. Walking down flea markets, and Evan is like picking out all of these sort of strange assortment of furniture. Like he sees a chair that's shaped like a butt. I'm not gonna lie, I've seen this chair before. And he's like, yes, I want this chair. And he's asked like, I have a biology test. What is crisp bread? You know what, I'll Google it. Should I add Norway to the or Norwegian? or scum to get a more accurate because I don't want to search just any crisp bread like I want to know specifically what Evok's talking about let me add Norway crisp bread Norway North Wild Kitchen shout out oh my god a Norwegian breakfast and lunch is never complete without a slice or a type of crisp bread how did he say it? hold on let me see how Isak said it all I hear is bro Nebrot? fuck me right? Don't worry about it. What's it made out of? I want this in my life! I 
I have so many issues with this. Like, so many. I love Sana with all my heart. And I know that all of the characters in Scum and all the people in real life, you know, we're all flawed in some way, except for me. Like, I'm perfect. Because I wish that she had just asked. Just ask. Hashtag just ask. Just ask. Ask and you shall receive. I'm pretty sure someone famous said that. I wish I could have Wi-Fi in the world. The fact that the password isn't cardamome makes me very sad. Despite the fact that she is gonna do it in a really shady way, I wanted her to do this. I, okay. I wanted her to bring Sarah down, but not because I think Sarah is a bad person, because you know, we all have moments. <laughs> Flashbacks. No, I just wanted Sana to get hers, you know? There's also like a really good representation of how bullying can affect a person. Some people are being pushed to becoming monsters because they're treated like a monster anyways. So why not, you know? Why not just like be the person that these people think that she is? All right, so that has been my video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and I mean a comment if you want to. Two. One, two, two. Too. If you have any questions too that you want to ask me, no. leave them in the comment section below. Also Tumblr, also Instagram, also hi. No. This has been Noah, and <laughs> I'm I'm trash. Um. Girl,